So in 2019, game streaming was the buzz. Google Stadia, you know, xCloud, so many services are available out there that you might not know. Now, as we move into 2020, it's going to play a bigger role. So let's take a look at some of the game streaming services you can use right now, especially as we jump into 2020. Let's check it out. So one of the very first services I would like to talk about is GeForce Now Beta. Again, it says beta, so it's still in beta, but this is from NVIDIA. This is the GeForce Now service, which allows you to play um, PC games on your PC. Uh, of course, you can play it on mobile, with this mobile app out now, and you can play it on your TV through your NVIDIA Shield. So what is GeForce Now? So very simple, you go ahead and you create a GeForce Now account, and if you accept into the beta, um, which I was, then you can go ahead and download the application on your PC or sign in. Um, and uh, you now have access to a ton of games. So if you're using a laptop like I have one here, which is the Mortal 14, which I just reviewed, this is not powerful to play, you know, uh, games like the, the Division 2. Uh, just can't run it. It's a, it's a Ryzen 5 mobile processor. So of course, I can log in and play into those games. You've got access to those games. Now, do you buy games on GeForce Now or not? You not necessarily don't do that. What it does, it gives you access to the games that, of course, are supported by the service, and you can sign into your different gaming services. So if you use Steam, if you use Uplay from Ubisoft, uh, EA Service Origin, uh, Blizzard, Battle.net, uh, if you bought your games there, you can just basically sign into this account, and then boom, you've got access. So that's how they make it easy. Now, there are some games that are also free, available, of course, through GeForce Now, and you can play those as well. Well. Now, in terms of gameplay and what playing feels like, it plays pretty well. Whether you're playing on your mobile device, uh, I was playing uh, Call of Duty uh, World War II on my, of course, uh, Galaxy Tab S6, or playing Division 2 on a laptop, uh, of course, it works really well. Now, on a Wi Fi network with solid settings, you are fine. Now, most companies would say you need about 34 megabits per second up and down. I say if you got 100, then you should feel comfortable. Nothing less than that in my mind for any of these services I'm gonna talk about will fully get you there. But GeForce Now is that, and it doesn't cost you anything yet, but we do know the service is in beta and something you can play on your mobile device, uh, your PC, and of course your Nvidia Shield. Now the next service is something called Jump. Now, Jump is for indie games. If you're an indie gamer, this is something you might find definitely interesting. Uh, it's very simple. You can play on the browser or you can download the application on your PC. Uh, and it is at $4.99 a month and you've got access to about 100 uh, plus indie games. Uh, some of them are fun, some of them not so much, uh, but I do like the fact that it's just a service for that. Uh, it's very simple, easy to use. There is a 14 day uh, trial period to actually go ahead and try that out. I will say that sometimes the server is a bit choppy depending on the game I've tried out. Uh, so that's something to take note, but I did have a fun experience with it. I did like it was easy. It just took a longer time to load a few games here or there. But uh, again, if you're indie game um, focused, Jump is the way to go. All right, moving over to the console arena. Now, I have talked about other consoles before, but I'm talking about PlayStation Now and PlayStation Remote Play. So PlayStation Now is PlayStation's uh, game streaming service, if you will. You can download the application on your PC, um, and this allows you to play your uh, bunch of games uh, of PlayStation servers remotely. Now, you can also play those games on your PlayStation as well. So that's something to take note. There is a trial period for seven days, or you can play monthly $9.99 a month to actually go ahead and access all these games. So for instance, I got to play God of War, um, the new God of War on uh, PlayStation now on this laptop, the Motile 14. Uh, in terms of gameplay, it ran really, really well. 
Uh, I did have a few weird glitches. It didn't pick up my save point from me playing on my PlayStation. So I had to actually start the game from the very beginning. Uh, and the transition between cinematics to gameplay, which is usually very smooth, just became weirdly glitchy. That's just something to put out there and take note. But in terms of gaming and playing, it played really well. Uh, again, with sufficient Wi-Fi settings, it works out really well. Uh, poor Wi-Fi settings, not so much. So again, 100 megabits or more, but you can play your games quite effectively, and I thought it ran fairly smooth. Now, PlayStation Remote Play allows you to play uh, control your PlayStation remotely. So you can do that on your PC, but also in your smartphone or your tablet uh, device. Now, playing on my Galaxy S10, you can connect your PlayStation controller, but I decided to use the on-screen controls uh, to do that, and you can access and play games. So whether it's games in your disk drive or games you have in your system, you can do that as well. I found it to be less reliable than PlayStation Now. Uh, even though I was on the same network, I, uh, just been, I've just had issues with it i've gone through a bunch of updates but that's again that's just mindful of what my experience was could be better for you but uh you have that dual combination there from playstation with two separate applications again playstation now uh allows you to play uh, games for their servers and playstation remote play lets you play from your playstation itself Samsung has a service of its own that is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. It's called the Play Galaxy Link. Now, what you have to do is download the application on your Galaxy device, whether it's Galaxy Note 10, uh, S10, you know, or Galaxy Note 9, I believe. And then you can go ahead and download the application on your PC. Now, what Play Galaxy Link does is it basically allows you to remote play from your PC to your Galaxy device. It's very simple and easy. Uh, what you do is once you install the application on your uh, PC, uh, you can go ahead and now find the games on your PC. So if your games cannot be found, you can add them manually. Again, it's still in beta, by the way, but for, according to Samsung, it's a free service and you can remote play on your Galaxy Note 10. Now I'm using the GLAP Play controller, which is built specifically for the Galaxy Note 10 and it works pretty well, giving me simple and clear access to this. Um, and I enjoyed it quite well. I was able to play games uh, on my for my PC directly on my Galaxy Note 10, which is actually pretty cool. And again, since it's free, it's something I would say definitely if you're a Galaxy user, go ahead and try it out. There's some spec settings. When I initially used it, I had issues with AMD um, uh, graphics cards, although it looks like that has been fixed, uh, but just be mindful of that. It, it, they, they might be issues which they will be fixing with betas. But again, uh, in terms of streaming with a good Wi-Fi connection, it ran really well. Now my connection here is about 80 to 100 megabits per second, and that's why I have some really good play gameplay on here. So Google Stadia is, of course, the big game streaming service that got everyone's attention. Now Stadia itself uh, launched in uh, November, and uh, right now I have to say that initially my experience was really poor with the service, and it has improved over the last month. So Stadia allows you to jump in and play on three different platforms. You can play directly on your PC or any device that supports Chrome. So it's a PC, Chrome, tablet, or a Mac, or even technically I would say you could probably try it on an iPad. I haven't tried it out yet. You can also play on your uh, Pixel device. It must be Pixel 3, 4. Uh, and finally, you can play on your TV through a Chromecast. Now, the service has two tiers. There is a free service which will be launching in 2020 at some point in time, first half of the year. And right now, there is the Pro Bundle for 120 now. Currently, that is the only way to play it right now. Now, they promise 4K60 on the TV. Uh, sorry, 4K60 uh, on the TV, which I just haven't experienced at all. Uh, but in terms of gameplay, it's much smoother and, and much more uh, clean experience playing on, uh, of course, Chrome on my on the laptop, which is the Motile 14, and also playing on my... Um, uh, my Pixel 4 XL, I didn't notice that much slowdowns. It's very little, and I'm glad they're improving the service. Uh, the one thing about Stadia that I would say is a downside is you do have to buy the games. There is no subscription for games or things like that, and the game pricing is rather high, at least for the kind of games they have on there right now. But there are games, and of course, if you have the Pro Bundle, you will get a free game every month 
Currently this month, it's the Tomb Raider Definite Edition. So you can claim that. If not, I guess there's a period where you can't claim it anymore. But uh, that is what you get with the Pro Bundle. And you can also give a buddy pass to a friend. And there is Shadow. Now Shadow is a game streaming service of sorts that allows you to create a virtual Windows machine on their server racks, and then you can play whatever games you want to. And that's pretty cool. Now the setup process is actually easy. It's not as complicated as you think. You sign up for Shadow, you download, um, set up your account, and they set up the server and they just let you know. Once that's done, you can download the, the application on your uh, PC, like the Motile 14, which won't be powerful enough to play some of the games I want to play, as well as a Mac, which doesn't play a lot of games uh, as well. So you can go ahead, log in, and you've got a virtual machine. You can do whatever you want to. Now, this, of course, the performance is not tied to your machine here. It's tied, of course, to whatever they have on their server racks. And you can install any of the games you want to. Now, if you've got Steam, download your Steam client. Boom, you're good to go. If you've got Epic, uh, Battle.net, you know, you play Origin, you name it. You can play all those games, even Xbox Game Pass games as well. Um, so you've got that built in there. And I think that's actually pretty cool. Now, pricing is a little bit on the high side. Monthly, it's $34.95 a month. And if you want to do a full year, you get a better discount at $12.99 a month. Uh, I would say it's for a PC gamer that wants to take something light and portable with them. Uh, I think this is probably the way to go uh, with this, uh, but it does have a, a mobile app as well, which you can use. I don't like using it on mobile. On a tablet, it's a little bit better. And of course, they do have a, a miniature console, which you can also plug into your TV and play. And you can jump and continue from whatever you stop in your game, either your mobile PC or uh, your TV. So that's Shadow. And finally, we have Project X Cloud from Microsoft. Now, that's not the final name, it's in beta, but this is Microsoft's game streaming um, platform, as they mentioned in E3. They did talk about some of the things they'll do with it, but let's talk about what game uh, X Project X Cloud is. Now, X Cloud allows you to play currently up to 50 games uh, or from their servers, and they will add new games each month. Now, these games do not disappear or go away like you have on PlayStation Now. Now, uh, you've got access to play that, and you can play that directly on your mobile device. What's cool about it is if you've got a controller like the um, Jungle Cat from Razer, then you've got like a miniature Nintendo Switch, which is pretty cool. Now, the other benefit is you can just stream directly from your uh, Xbox console at home, and you have access, of course, to Xbox Game Pass. Now, Game Pass gives you over 100 games, uh, and again, those games don't disappear. They just stay there, especially if they're Microsoft games. Those don't disappear at all. Some games are actually move and leave. Uh, but in terms of pricing, there is no pricing yet because this is still in beta. Uh, we do know that Microsoft said that yes, Game Pass will have game streaming as well uh, in the future. So that's not set in stone. But what I'm thinking here is that, look, if you have Game Pass, um, you should be able to have an option to add a game streaming there at some point. Uh, so, but in terms of pricing right now for Project X Cloud, there is none. Now, performance wise, it was actually pretty good. It's played pretty well. Just like Stadia, it's improved month to month to month. I would say connectivity has been pretty good. The only times parts which are slower is when you're starting up a game for the first time. It takes a while to load up and start. So that's something I've noticed with that. I would say overall, when you look at all the services you have here, uh, it's an interesting time, especially if you are a game and looking for ways to play games. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to limit yourself to building a powerful PC or buying a powerful um, uh, gaming device, or even if you don't want to buy a PC, you've got different services here. Things like Stadia allow you to jump from any device you want to to play, or Project X Cloud that allows you to jump into your mobile and have something really portable to take with you. Or if you're an indie gamer looking for something um, unique and special, you have all these things there. So there you have it, guys. Those are the streaming services out there. If I've missed any, let me know. But 2020 seems like a very interesting year for game streaming. I wanna hear your thoughts. Leave them down below. Otherwise, thank you very much if you're watching this in 2019 on the very last day. Happy New Year. If you're watching this in 2020, let's have some fun. Always enjoy your entertainment.